Hey, it's Becky Fox here and I'm so excited to be making you a Denver omelet today. So we're gonna do this as a mug omelet in a coffee mug. And it only takes a few minutes to get ready and to cook. So if you're in a time crunch, this is gonna be a great recipe for you. So I'm actually gonna make two today, one for me and one for my boyfriend Dave. So I got two mugs out, one of my favorite mugs. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it says wake up, kick butt, repeat. So it's a really good reminder to crush your day when I get up in the morning. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started here. So um, what you're going to want is to start with some oil. So we do want to grease the inside of the coffee mugs so that the egg doesn't just stick in there. So I actually have some coconut oil. I take just a little uh, towel and I just kind of start rubbing it in the inside of the coffee mug. So you could use coconut oil, you could use avocado oil, you could use olive oil, probably coconut or avocado is gonna be your best bet. Um, so you just wanna make sure you kinda of get the whole inside, the bottom, everything coated so that it is good to go. And this will add a little healthy fats in there as well. So I'm gonna do the second one here. All right. And then the next step, what we're gonna to wanna to do, so cool thing with coconut oil, you get some on your skin, you can rub it in. <laughs> it makes a good lotion. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna craft the eggs in here, okay? So I'm gonna do two eggs in each one. And, yep, so just like that, just crack them in there, and then we'll just kinda of mix them up here in just a second. So two eggs in each one. I wouldn't overfill it, you just want to be careful with that so it'll cook a little faster if we just do about one or two, but probably two just to get enough protein in your meal. You're going to get some healthy fats in there from those egg yolks as well. Awesome. All right, so luckily I got my little towel still. I'm going to wipe my fingers off. I'm not the best at cracking eggs, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, from there, before I blend it up, I'm actually going to add a little salt and pepper. So it's really mixed well in with the eggs. And just a sprinkle, you know, you don't need a whole lot, just a taste, whatever you like, kind of depends on you. And then let's just go ahead and break up that egg. So just start to mix it with a fork, breaking up the yolks. So it's all nice and mixed really well. Awesome, I'm gonna do the other one real quick right here. Now, um, the next thing that we wanna do is add our vegetables. So for this, and you wanna make sure too, the reason you wanna stuff your cup too full is it's gonna kinda of puff up as it cooks. So you wanna make sure you have some room in there for that as well. So I did cut up a couple things here. So like I said, we're making a Denver omelet. So we're gonna do green peppers, onions, and ham. But you can of course do any different kind of combination. If you like other vegetables like tomatoes or spinach, those will go great in here as well. If you're not a ham lover, you can take the ham out, throw in a little sausage, make sure it's just already cooked. Um, and kind of change it up, play with it, and you'll have you know a lot of variety that way. So I'm gonna throw in the green pepper. So I slice up about half of a green pepper. I'm gonna put a half into each one. So about a quarter of a pepper. And then I've got some onions. So I'm a big veggie person, so I usually <laughs> put a lot of veggies in my stuff. Okay, so there's the green pepper. Same thing with the onions. It's about you know a tablespoon or so of onion in each one. It was probably about a quarter of the onion. So we're gonna throw that in there. And then we're gonna throw our ham in there. So I cut up two slices of ham. I'm just gonna put one into each one, just like that. So we've got all our yummy, tasty ingredients all mixed in, ready to go. And the last thing is cheese, right? It's omelet. Now if you're dairy free, you can of course skip the cheese, no problem there. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw some cheese in there and then I'm gonna mix everything up, okay? So right there. Kind of mix everything together in the cup. Awesome, other one here. And then I'm gonna pop it into the microwave. So start with about 30 seconds and then just look at it. If it's still runny, you're gonna to wanna to put it in longer. So partly depend on how many eggs you're using, how much stuff you put in there, as well as um, you know the size of the eggs matter too, right? So if you use really large eggs, it's a lot more egg. So I'm gonna start with 30 seconds, check it. And then if you need to, just start adding 15 seconds and keep checking it until it's done. Just be careful not to overcook it, okay? You just want the egg to not be runny. We don't wanna burn the egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these cooked in the microwave and I will be right back. All right, 
so those mug omelets are all done. These took about a minute and a half to cook just because I used two eggs and a little bit more stuff in them. So again, you'll just have to vary your time. And also just put one in the microwave at a time. So if you are cooking two, just cook one at a time so it'll cook a little better. All right, well that is your Denver omelet. I hope you enjoy it and I appreciate you joining me for this video. I look forward to seeing you at the next one.